Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the New Zealand region. For September and October 2013, this has all come about by a new series of earthquakes that have been registered in the Cook Strait region. The last few months have seen two 6.5 magnitude earthquakes in the region, July 21st and also August 16th. And there is some interesting symmetry from these events. And using this symmetry, we can look ahead and plot some future dates for New Zealand, which could produce very powerful earthquakes. Now it is important to note that the Australian Pulsation PC3 index had a very large spike just four hours prior to this very strong earthquake in the New Zealand region. Now this data service is excellent as a precursory tool for strong earthquakes for the southern hemisphere. We're now looking at an interesting graphic regarding the symmetry of these very strong earthquakes in the Cook Strait region, New Zealand. Not only were they both 6.5 magnitude, but the moon's position was almost identical, virtually directly overhead New Zealand or over the South Pacific Ocean. Now we also had another interesting symmetry. The maximum lunar declination was within 26 hours of both of these quakes, and a lunar perigee was within three days. And if that wasn't enough, we also had a 6.2 magnitude earthquake on July 3rd, 2012, with an identical symmetry. Not only was a moon overhead or over the South Pacific Ocean, we had a maximum lunar declination 31 hours prior, and a day prior to that, a lunar perigee. So that's three earthquakes, all in the Cook Strait region, all with identical symmetry. We're now looking at the symmetry from the earthquakes of 2012 and 13 in the Cook Strait region. Not only do we have the strong aspects of the lunar perigee and the maximum lunar declination for both of these earthquakes, but we also have a strong celestial influence. We have Uranus moving into retrograde during that month, and both of these earthquakes occurring in July. But we also have Mercury reaching its maximum eastern elongation and also maximum western elongation. And this is the same symmetry that's occurring in October. Based on strong symmetry and celestial influences, I'm now going to make an earthquake forecast for the New Zealand region for September 13 and 14, and also the October 10th and 11th timeframes. Now these are significant as we must consider the new earthquake series that's currently in progress in the Cook Strait region. We're now looking at September 13 and 14 a little bit more closely and looking at the celestial influences. And there's not much to report in terms of alignments. We have two near alignments, but nothing of significance, and that'll factor down any magnitude potential of earthquake on either one of these days. But I do feel there's a possibility of a 5.5 to 5.8 magnitude earthquake for the New Zealand region, and the most likely time will be when the moon is over the South Pacific Ocean, and that'll be around 3 to 4 p.m. New Zealand time. We're now looking at October 10 and 11, where the moon will be over the South Pacific or overhead New Zealand during this time frame. And I do feel there's a strong potential for a very strong earthquake for the New Zealand region, as we do have the added influence of two extra planetary alignments. Now, the main concern is that we do have the added influence of Mercury moving through its retrograde later on the month, and we also see that Mercury is reaching its maximum eastern elongation, which has also been a part of two strong earthquakes for the Cook Strait region, as mentioned previously. The two contributing planetary alignments are Earth, Mercury, Saturn, and Mercury, Sun, Mars. This is a dual alignment involving Mercury. So I do feel like there's a strong risk for a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake in the October 10-11 time frame. I'm concerned about this date, and it's definitely a time frame we need to monitor and closely watch. We're now going to talk about the Earth-Sun-Mercury alignments and their relationship with strong earthquakes in the New Zealand region, and there is a long list of them. I will leave a small clip towards the end of this video showing this symmetry for those who are interested. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this alignment is that we are moving into one August 24 and 25, so there may be a very powerful earthquake, so we need to monitor this. Now, I do feel there's a strong earthquake potential coming somewhere across the globe, reaching 7.8 magnitude, and more than likely be the South Sandwich Islands region, but we do need to monitor this as there is a strong relationship with New Zealand. Now another date that is of interest is November 1st. Now this is another strong date and this will be a separate video. And that's my earthquake watch for the New Zealand region for September and October 2013. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.